welcome back to my channel one more time. I'm so excited to be filming. I don't know why. I'm just always getting excited. Um, I usually film whenever I can, so that's whenever I have a little bit of time, when the kids are napping, when I have luck to film um, a sit-down video. So hopefully I can knock like two um, videos out today at least for you guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying a little bit of my content. Um, if you guys are wondering, I am in a new little place. It's like a cubby area in my room. I know it looks like I'm in a tiny room. That's what my sister told me last time. She's like, it looks like you're in a, like a little tiny room. It, actually, it's like a huge big room. And if you guys would like to see a little bit more of my room or where I am, then go check out my vlogs. I'll leave it down below or up here in the eye bar for you guys on the vlog where I talk about like my room and moving down here if you guys would like to know a little bit more about that. But today is just going to be a makeup tutorial. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so I'm kind of just going to wing it and hope for the best because I don't know. I just want to really, really, really badly film for you guys. So I hope you guys can see that the quality is better. There's more better lighting. With that being said, I think we're going to start off on our eyes to prime our eyes. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle and it's in the shade neutralizer so I just learned how to use this little thing on my camera where it focuses on whatever I want to focus it's crazy I never knew this about it so that's fun um, I think I'm gonna stay back here hold on let me focus I think I'm gonna stay back here and do everything I usually go really up close and show you guys really what I'm doing but I feel like I want you guys to capture everything so I just want to stay back here I don't know I'm just trying something new I know it's kind of weird for me so I'm gonna use this to prime my eyelids I'm just so excited to be filming this. My little sponge tip kind of like just broke off, so I have to work with it. And it's really annoying whenever it breaks off um, because it's so fun. I'm going to be going into the inner corner because I know <laughs> I look so crazy right now. I'm going to be going into the inner corner um, because I think we're going to be putting some shadow there. And then also like towards the outer corner right here. And then just blending all of that together with a concealer brush by It Cosmetics. And of course, if I am looking down, it is because I have my little mirror down here. My dirty little mirror. Okay, so I am really lacking on videos with the kids. I want to film videos. I just don't know what I want to film them of. It's kind of like I went blank on um, the video. So I made their own channel, but I stopped posting on it because I thought it wasn't fair because like their content was on a different ch channel and then my content was on this channel. And this channel is all, all about family um, or at least our family. It's about like what we enjoy doing and the fact that I put my content on this channel, I think it wouldn't be fair for me to make like their own channel until they're older um, because it's like my channel involves everything that has to do with them, with me. So I thought it would be a better idea to just put their videos that I'm filming for them into this channel so um, that's just my choice and um, I think it's it's fair so I really um, I'm really happy with that choice so I'm gonna go in with the Carly Bible palette um, this is really old I'm super excited to be buying her new palette I'm gonna buy it once it comes out in stores um, I'm gonna buy it but um, this palette is so beaten it's so used but if I personally you guys if I personally was let me tell you guys what what color I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this like cream shade right here one of my favorite shades to set all over my eyelid um, but if I was somebody who made a palette um, and I saw that my palette was all used up, that would mean so much to me. So Carly, like, I love your palette. Like, it's an amazing palette. Um, and the reason why I would love it is because th that means that they loved everything about your palette. Like, literally almost every single shade in this palette has, has hit Pam. There's only been like one, two, three, four, five four shades that haven't hit pan this one this one this one and this one so those haven't hit pan yet um, but I absolutely love it and if I was somebody who created something and I saw that m that all of it was already used up that they loved it like it just means something whenever it hit whenever it hits pan it was an incredible palette and I'm so excited to try out her new one because I've heard great things about it her Carly's such a great person her heart is so big and I just love using her things. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics palette, which is in collaboration with Buzz, Bu 
Bubs Beauty, my best friend. Aronza gave this to me for my graduation along with some other goodies, but I've been loving using this palette and I want to use this palette. So I'm going to go with Optimistic and the brush that I'm going to use is this one by Sonia Kashuk. Okay. I'm going to put this in my crease. And a little bit above my crease, just kind of blend it out as as a transition color. Not really a crease color, just a transition color. And then I'm also going to bring it down to like the V shape right here towards the outer lid. Okay, so now I want to go in with a little bit of a bronzy shade to kind of deepen up the lid. Um, and then also just make it a little bit more bronzy. It's just what I'm going for. So I'm going to go into the TARDIS Pro To Go palette. And I'm going to go into this shade right here which is Crisp. And I'm going to go in with this fluffier Sonia Kashuk brush. And what I'm going to do with this one is try to keep it right under that transition shade. And just blend and blend and blend. And I'm also bringing it all the way into my inner corner. And then all the way out to the outer V like I did the other shade. But as you guys can already tell, like it's already bronzing up um, this look the way I want it to. Now I'm going to go back in with the first transition shade and kind of blend out any harsh lines that we could have created. So I'm going to go in to um, this one which is Confident. It's a really dark pretty plum purple. And I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to use this Earth Therapeutics brush. Okay so what I'm doing with Confident. Um, I'm putting it like right on the crease and blending it down and then also blending it out towards the outer V and blowing this out. So if any of you guys were wondering, I turned 19. I know that I totally forgot to mention that um, in the vlog of where I talk about my birthday. Um, I'm 19, I turned 19 years old, and I had lots of fun just with family, friends, my friends. Um, I made a, ma a new mom friend from my church, and I just went to go hang out with her, um, and I did new things, and it was just exciting, um, and it was something new, but I had so much fun, and um, didn't do anything too crazy, went to the falls, um, to some waterfalls in here like in a little town um, that's like 25 minutes away from my from where I live um, and it was so pretty I just sat there and kind of admired the beauty um, and it was like right when the Sun was going um, was going down so it was really really pretty um, and I was just it was just a good time all in all and it's kind of crazy to think that I'm 19 I always tell people I'm like it always feels like I'm still 13 and I think that if I could give you guys one advice it would be that um, don't be afraid to grow up I feel like everyone's just afraid to grow up and like it's one of the best choices that you can make in your life is to grow up be a better person I feel like that's one thing that you can never regret in your life is to grow up like I was forced to grow up as a little girl I was forced to take care of myself take care of my of my brothers and sisters I was forced to think about other things besides being a child um, and I feel like I don't regret that I don't regret going growing up and growing up in my situations because um, it's something that I'm always gonna carry with me there are experiences that I will always carry with me so um, if I had one thing to tell everyone is don't be afraid to grow up you know um, choose to mature in your situations don't choose to go any lower than what you deserve because you deserve to get better get higher don't stay in that same place of anger and bitterness um, whatever it is, don't choose to stay there or get any lower. Get better for yourself. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go into Kind now. Isn't that such a pretty, like, just iridescent, like, purple? I think I'm just gonna take my finger for this because, honestly, I feel like sometimes fingers um, do a lot of better, do a better job than brushes. So I'm gonna take my finger and put this all over the lid. Okay guys, so this hasn't been recording. I thought it was recording, but I guess it wasn't. Oh, that's so frustrating whenever that happens. So let me explain to you guys what I did since you guys didn't see what happened. I grabbed um, two brushes, and these are the two brushes that I grabbed. Um, and one is an angled like eyeliner brush, and then the other one's like a pointed, um, a really pointy eyeliner brush. Um, I grabbed my liquid lipstick by Wet n Wild in Coral Corruption and I lined my eyes with that. So if you guys can see, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm so sorry that you guys did not see that, which is really, really frustrating and annoying. I'm going to go into the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Foundation in 310 on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna put it with my finger on my face and I'm gonna go in with the Real Technique sponge and blend all this out Concealer, I'm going to mix two concealers. I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Your Wine that I use to prime my eyelids in the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to put some down my nose, on my forehead, chin. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium which is a little too dark for me um, I actually grabbed the wrong shade I'm usually sand but I accidentally grabbed medium because people don't know how to put things back where they really are in the store so I'm just putting that right over all of that concealer and also bringing it down and kind of just mixing it all together I usually don't mix concealers but since it's the wrong shade I have to do it and I'm gonna take the beauty or the real technique sponge again and blend all of this out. Okay, so to set that, I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder and Extra Translucent or tra Translucent Extra Coverage. Sorry. I'm just going to go with my sponge and just set that. I like to let it sit for a little bit on my face. But then I go back in and tap it in. So after I do that, I like to add a I like to add a little bit of color back to my skin and I'm using this CoverGirl Girl Outlast All Day Powder in 830, which is way too light for me, but I like to just set this and bring a little bit of color. So if you are taking flash photography, it's great to set your your face with a loose face powder, but you always want to bring um, like color back to your skin so you don't get that white cast because if you don't then you will get that white white cast on your pictures and Nobody likes that in their picture. So if you are wanting a little trick just grab um, a face powder with That's your shade or a little bit lighter and just add some color back to your face. I also like to put this right under my Right there 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna bronze up my face. The palette that I will use to bronze up my face is the one that I always use, the one that's always dirty. The NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm gonna use this shade right here to bronze up my face. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. It's a huge brush, perfect for bronzing up my face. And I'm just gonna bronze up my whole face like I just said I'm gonna do. <laughs> Leah just woke up from her nap, guys. Now I'm gonna go in with contour. I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is by 30 by Studio 36 Beauty, I believe. Um, and it's a dual ended brush, and I love this side to con or to contour, yeah, um, because it just blends out my contour so good. So what I'm gonna do is go into this shade and just contour with that. Um, I like to keep my contour just right here and then definitely bring it up to like my hairline because I like to blend it up here to my hairline and have everything nice and blended. So I like to keep it right there. I like to stop it about halfway. I don't like to bring in too much forward. Yeah. And I like to just contour these little things. My little balls that I have here. I have like two little balls up there. It's kind of annoying and frustrating. So now I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics brush. It looks like this. It's a little bit smaller and more precise, okay? And I'm going to go into this shade right here. So I like to just contour the front of my nose. The front side. And then that. And then I like to contour right here. I like to go back in with the sponge and make those lines a little bit more crisp, if you can say. Oh. Eyebrows, I've been really enjoying using powder lately. So I'm going to go into the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to go into this dark brown shade right there with a Sephora angled brush. And I'm just going to start filling in my eyebrows. Then I like to take a spoolie and just comb them out. I know why it looks so dark because I don't have my ring light on. Ah! Okay, let's turn this back on. There we go. I was like, why does it look so dark and weird? Because I have my ring light on. Ah! Going with a little bit more bronzer and kind of just blend that contour out a little bit. I'm kind of all over the place, guys. I apologize. I'm gonna go into the Tulip Blush Duo by BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go into the other side of that brush and just grab a little bit of that. Blush up the face a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with just a clean brush by, who is this by? It, it Cosmetics and just blend everything. I like to just blend. I don't know why I like to blend so much. It's probably a problem. I'm going to go into this brush right here, which is by Bella Pro or Bella Pro, whichever, however you pronounce it. It's the Fantail Powder Brush. I'm going to go into this shade that's almost non-existent right here and blend it in with this gold shade a little bit um, and try to get that shade out as much as I can because it's a little difficult at this point. And highlight my face with this. Did you get it, Momo? Did you get it? Yeah? Good. Yay! Okay. Above my eyebrow right here. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of that highlight shade on my pinky and try to highlight my brow bone. We'll see how this goes. And I'm actually going to take my finger again and put some of this 
highlighting shade in the inner corner. And I'm gonna grab this ColourPop eyeliner in No Shame. And it's a purple eyeliner, and I'm just gonna go and line the top of my waterline and the bottom of my waterline. Ooh, that tickles so bad. Like, I just wanna cry right now because it tickled. Ooh, that was kind of intense. I'm going to take this brush right here. Hopefully this works. This one is by It Cosmetics. It's um, the crease brush. I just dropped it. The crease brush. And I'm going to go into Confidence, which is this purple shade right here. And I'm just going to smoke it out. I really like that, but I feel like I need to go into the bronzy shade that we went in with, which is Hi. from the TARDIS Pro To Go palette. And I'm going to go into Crisp, and I'm just going to smoke and add this out, add this on the... I really like that. Now we're gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes mascara which has two ends one for the bottom lashes and one for the top lashes i'm just gonna curl my lashes with this elf eyelash curler and just really build up this mascara <laughs> i'm also just gonna use the mascara as a like eyebrow gel so i went in and add a little bit of pop of color right here and I think that's it. Put some um, a lower lash mascara on. For the lips, I'm just going to go and use this liquid lipstick as well from Wet n Wild, which is in the shade Coral Corruption. It's the same one that I used to line my eyes with. Guys, okay, so I have the lipstick on. I'm going to let my crazy hair down. And every time I do this, my face looks super white because of the contrast that my hair kind of gives to everything. It kind of takes a while for it to, like, focus. And as you guys can see, like, everything just looks different when my hair is down. It's so dark. Guys, so that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like to see a little bit more funner... Funner, if that's even a word, I don't think that's a word. Um, a more fun videos like these where I go out of my comfort zone and do like liquid liners and stuff like that, then let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys did enjoy these types of videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click the little notification bell so that you guys will get notified of when we upload another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.